659. That's a big number. Big number representing what? Oh, let me show you. These. 659 medieval churches in the county of Norfolk, England. That's a lot. In actual fact, it's more than in any other county or province anywhere in the world. And that's very likely because Norfolk kind of sticks out of uh, the landmass that is England. And it was a, obviously an incredibly good landing place for invaders such as the Normans and the Saxons. But you thought you were tuning in to a photography video. Well, you are. Because, while well, I can assure you, right now, after the day I've had, I do feel like losing my religion. I've come to it. Churchyards provide an amazing opportunity for photography. And this one is literally in the middle of nowhere. And you find that a lot in Norfolk. Uh, we believe, we believe, I believe, it's uh, because what happened in the Middle Ages when the plague kind of ran through places is what they did is, uh, whereas the church was often kind of centre of the village, when the plague started wiping the village out, they kind of started moving the village. Oh, glasses falling off. I hate glasses. So... Often you find churches literally in the middle of nowhere. So I've never been to this churchyard before. It's a little sparse. I mean, perhaps, perhaps it's the wrong one to have come to, I'm not sure. We've got some gravestones over here and there's a, a few over here. And uh, <coughs> there's an awful lot of spent daffodils here. The entire churchyard is kind of covered in daffodils and I'm sure a week ago it would have been absolutely gorgeous and there's so many daffodils still out by the sides of roads and such but uh, uh, these are obviously bloomed early and uh, they're, they're going over now but <clears throat> what we've got in most churchyards is lots of things for kind of intimate photographs and a lot of people might say well you're kind of desecrating uh, the graves and such no we're not really are we we're, we're coming here to look at the past we're coming here to document what we have now which is an indeed kind of documenting the past as well and there will be a whole bunch of people that will say no you can't possibly yeah, yeah uh, apply your uh, your trade your hobby or whatever in a churchyard and I say well why not it's we're not doing anything wrong so yeah if you're fearful of that don't don't be fearful most of the time these places are really very quiet and people come here for reflection they come here there's a couple sitting down uh, just uh, by the uh, the entrance of a, be uh, a bench over there when I got here they come down just eating their sandwiches and uh, they come down for a walk with the dog by the looks of it and yeah great I've come here for a completely different reason I've come here with a camera and I'm gonna try and get some images that perhaps are a little dark because uh, you know the yeah you know, kind of death does kind of lend itself to to such things i'm not sure what i'm going to get it might be the wrong place to do it lots of other churchyards are very much more uh, what's the word um busy in terms of perhaps gravestones and such but it's really interesting uh round tower to it. I don't know whether the church is open. I'm not actually that bothered about going in, but I do love taking photos in churches and uh, I've got some absolute crackers before now. One of the reasons you get crackers at, inside churches is because of the light coming in through the windows. <clears throat> Today it's quite overcast, um, which makes it really good for coming outside um, because we don't have direct light issues and uh, so, yeah, kind of streaming light to, uh, uh, to work with. But it means that if you go inside you don't have direct light and streaming light coming through the windows to work with. Horses for courses I suppose. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't come here a week or so ago to get these daffs because they really would have made one heck of a, a display here and I've had it in my mind to do a video uh, 
about churchyards for probably a year and a half or so and it just well something else always kind of happens or you forget I forget I've got an awful memory but anyway I think perhaps these these dafts, this great sea of dafts here although well, I should move to the other side I think so you can see more of them uh, I think there's still something in them there yeah, despite the fact they've kind of gone over um, they're still yellow there and it's still providing a decent uh, what's the word a decent colour splash that's not the green of the grass or the grey of the, the stone of the church. One of the other things that's really interesting about Norfolk churches as well is that almost all of them uh, are built of flint, brick and flint. In actual fact, you don't see bricks on the outside of the churches in Norfolk in general. They're all flint. And, uh, now I've really no idea how much of this can be seen here. I've got a bumblebee on a dandelion just down here. I don't know whether this bit of footage is going to come out uh, because I've got my long lens on. I can get quite close to it without disturbing it. Quite close to it optically that is of course without uh, disturbing it. <laughs> it's having a real feast here. I can hear other bees as well, I can't see them. Oh, there's one just flown off up there. Ah, oh, they're, they're up on the wall. Maybe there's, there must be a nest around here somewhere, mustn't there? What are you doing down there? What's on the underside of the flower? There you come. <laughs> You're back. You're back on top. I really would like to get a bit closer to it, but maybe put because I can't focus any further, any closer than the Russian about here. So in taking these I realised that uh, I'm not really cut out for this insect lark. I mean, they move. You can't control them. And my knees don't like it either. Anyway, they're not too bad. I'm going to leave the bee to it. I didn't come here to shoot bees, but I'll tell you what, that's nice. So, uh, from the day I've had so far, tiniest ray of sunshine there. And, uh, it's cheered me up a little bit. Anyway, see what else we can find as a potential shot here. If I just go looking down, let's come over here a little. The path there, there's a, a trodden path through. Well, it's not trodden through the uh, the, the daffodils. So, yeah, the daffodils are planted either side of the path, but they do create quite a nice line. Although it's probably uh, the wrong line, but it creates a leading line, but it's creating it out of the image. So this is probably not the shot I should be taking. But I'm crouched down now, and uh, and I'm here. Long lens. You'll see that I've got my um, ND and uh, polarizer on here. It's only because I'm too lazy to take it off. The the polarizer really isn't doing a great deal of uh, work here. Set myself back down to 200 because I was at 500. I'm only going to shoot one because my knees aren't going to take it. Ow! But yeah. I hope this comes out, you're going to see it whichever way. Uh, have a look at it, let me know what you think. And, uh, move on to see what else we can find. Well it's that time of the video when I ask you to do me a favour. Just click the like button please. Of course one of the things you'll find in pretty much any churchyard are headstones. And uh, they provide a certain fascination old ones like this have got so many kind of facets to them, they're so weathered and they provide really interesting subjects for close-up work or perhaps far away work, silhouette work, all kinds of things. Not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, I haven't discovered a, uh, 
um, a composition. I just set the camera down and uh, follow me a touch. Yeah, I just set the camera down and uh, kind of musing over it with you. I might get nothing here. We've got this lovely old tree in the background as well, kind of coming down. It's and kind of reaching down to it. I'm conscious of not going too much through the uh, the dafts. I don't want to down trodden all of these things, but there might be something because there's a lovely brow coming out over there as well. It's a shame we've got a bloody great telegraph pole. I'm sure we can avoid getting that in a shot. All right. Well, I uh, I cheated a little. I took this shot a couple of days ago when I was here. In fact, it's Good Friday now, and I was here Tuesday, and I've already pointed out in the video that I'm sure that the audio wasn't very good because the uh, the radio mic wasn't uh, wasn't working for some reason, and for the most part I got away with it because I was very close to the camera. I know the audio quality wasn't great, but I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, but. Now I'm about I don't know, 15 foot from the camera and the audio quality for this bit was appalling. So I've come back to, to reshoot this and hey, that's not such a bad thing. So anyway, this composition is a reworking of something I got the other day and the conditions have changed uh, from the other day. We've got um, a much sunnier uh, uh, sky uh, very blue over here as I'm sure you can see which we didn't have the other day and the shadows and everything else are different as well. I don't know right now as I'm filming this which shot I'm going to show you whether it's the Tuesday shot or it's the Friday shot and of course positions are going to be slightly different and such and yeah my composition might be a little different here because of the uh, the delay or the difference in time and such uh, and already I'm feeling uh, it's certainly because the light is so different, we've got a very different thing. I'm going to show you both, I'm sure. Uh, just come round here a bit. Because that um, uh, telegraph pole is very hard to keep out of shot. And right now, the headstone that I'm looking at has got the full force of the sun on it. And it's creating a, a heck of a shadow on the other side of it. I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. And this second one really lends itself to monochrome very well. So here's that. And here they are all side by side with a number. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments and why. Other shots back here as well so I'm gonna see what uh, what I might be able to compose looking elsewhere as well let's see what we got so I didn't venture this far in the other day but now I'm back here again and I'm not in a rush and indeed my mind is in a much better place I'm going to try and shoot this other cross that's behind these other two over here yeah there we go that's quite nice as well so start locking my tripod off here 135 mil here I do like that actually one of the other things that you've got in the churchyards and medieval churchyards like this it's just wonderful things like this old door I and mean, it's it's a wonderfully gnarly wonderful piece of what I imagine is old English oak and uh, lots of uh, holes from woodworm and such and old ironwork there's a hook there and just the the wonderful ironwork on the uh, on the locking mechanism and everything oh, it's 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 just gorgeous and the detail uh, in it is oh, it's wonderful 
And uh, I don't think I can leave without getting a shot of this, or a few shots of this. But I haven't, I haven't eyed anything up as such as a shot. Let's uh, just see whether there's any, I mean, just almost anywhere I point the camera on this door, it's, it's just a wonderful shot. I just love it. With this uh, lens being a bit small, I keep it in a sock in the bag because it rolls around a little bit. Well, I've got the tripod very close to the door, as you can see. Um, I've got my 60mm macro on here. Obviously, we're not at macro distance, uh, but it does give me a nice, sharp image. Now, let's lock my camera off. So this hook here is now just uh, pretty much central in frame. At f8, I'm going to do a focus preview on it. And actually, I quite, I do like that, that depth of field preview, I should say. And at f8, it gives me uh, a nice kind of clean fall off rather than a really sharp one. So I'm now just focusing just here on that hook the door uh, and at f8 and that gives me probably enough depth of field it's a fifteenth of a second and I like it I just a simple just a simple little shot um, yeah nice bit of detail here yeah it's picking up the woodworm holes no it's, it's nice Anyway, I think it's nice. What do you think of it? Let me know. It's a wonderfully simple placing here. I've got a couple of shots. Um, I don't want to spend too much time in here just now because I think there's another exploratory video from inside here. It's a wonderful, wonderful space. Uh, as you probably saw from outside, it's thatch. Uh, Paneled ceiling in here, it's very nice. Lots of uh, plaster come off the walls and such. It's, uh, that old door up there used to be the door, I believe, from there, and they've, they've kept it as a relic. Uh, it's just it's, it's wonderful. I'll show you the shots I've got from inside here. If I was to come here earlier on in the day when the sun was uh, around this side of the building, it's, it's, it's over there now, so we're not getting uh, the sun coming through. But I think earlier on in the day, sun streaming through these windows onto these pews here, I think we'd get a really nice uh, shot out of that. And I think there's so much in here. I mean, if we just very quickly look at the 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 the, the screens down here as well. Just a wonderful, wonderful place. I think simple churches like this hold some incredibly interesting photographic subjects. And of course, yeah, I don't mean to yeah exploit the place uh, photographically. Uh, you know, it, it's a public space and it's a wonderful place to be. It's so quiet. And I think even if you're not in the re remotely religious as I'm not, but I think even just coming into a space like this, just to sit and contemplate and think perhaps about, well, whatever it is may be troubling you or whatever. I, I think there's a real benefit to doing something like that. And I'll tell you something else. Before I leave, I mean, let's see. Well, it looks like there's a looks like a priest is coming in through there, but the the light up coming through the uh, the main gateway, I think, is very nice as well. So I think I've got a shot there as well. Anyway, uh, looks like I've got company, so uh, I'm going to say goodbye for the moment. And uh, if there's another shot, I'll show you. And the shots from inside it, I'll show you all other as well. See you soon.